Hi everyone, welcome back to another quick video lesson with Liberty Park Music. My name is Z and today we'll be looking at a simple yet powerful idea called Anchor Fingers and it's great for beginners, it helps you with your chord changes. Um, anyways, throughout the video, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I bet you're wondering, what is an anchor finger? Um, so basically, it's a finger that stays on the same string throughout two or more chords. So basically, you'll keep that finger on that same string and it gives you a sense of space, a sense of physical space, and it also anchors your hand onto the fretboard. Um, it's great for beginners because a lot of times when beginners want to do their chord changes, they lift all their fingers off and then they try to put it back down. And you'll find that you tend to miss a lot because there's no sense of physical space. So with anchor fingers, it will remove that problem and you will always have an idea of where all the strings are. So in order to use your anchor fingers effectively, um, you do have to do some planning beforehand because some of the fingers for certain chords will have to change. Um, in the following ex example, we will use the chords A major, E major, and D major. So when we use the example of A major, E major, and D major, um, we will switch the fingerings for A major around. So normally you will play your A major with your index finger on the second fret of the fourth string, your middle finger on the second fret of the third string, and then your ring finger on the second fret of the second string. But this gives you a problem when you want to switch from A major to D major. Sorry, not D major, I mean E major. So what you wanna do instead is you wanna switch your middle finger and your index finger around. So now you have your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string and your index finger on the second fret of the third string. So what this gives you is it gives you an anchor finger, which is your index finger, between all three chords. So now your index finger stays on the third string from A to D and to E as well. Okay, so in order to use your anchor fingers effectively, you want to think about these three steps. So, we'll use the example of switching from A major to E major. So once you're done playing the A major chord, what you want to do is remove the two fingers that are non-anchor fingers, which is the middle finger and the ring finger. And at the same time, you want to release the pressure of the string for your index finger. But don't lose contact with the string, because once you lose contact with the string, that's when you lose your sense of physical space. So that's the first step. The second step is you want to slide your anchor finger down to where it should go for the next chord. And finally, the third step is placing the other two non-anchor fingers down to form the chord. So once again, it is one, two, three. You want to start slow and then, and then build up speed using a metronome or you can just rely on your own sense of timing. So there will be certain chord progressions where it's impossible to place and plan anchor fingers ahead. But as much as possible, you always want to try to adjust your fingering so that you will always have an anchor finger. So here's an example of where I may have some anchor fingers between some chords and not on others. So the chord progression I'll use is G major to D major to C major and A minor and back to my G. So as you can see, from the G major to my D major, I do have an anchor finger on my ring finger. So when I do this switch, I rely on my anchor finger as much as possible. But once I get to my D and I want to switch to my C, 
I don't have an anchor finger between these two chords. So this is a chord change that I will work on a lot more than the others. But once I get to my C major, it's easy to switch to my A minor again because I have two anchor fingers instead of one for C major to A minor. And the two anchor fingers are my middle finger and index finger. And then when I go back to my G major, once again, there are no anchor fingers. So yet again, you will have to practice this chord change a lot more than the ones with anchor fingers. And that's all we have for today. Uh, remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video lesson, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks.